I'm sure your hands are mightier than my sword, my clever friend. <laughs> Go ahead and do as you've planned. Let me worry about swapping the lamp. If I accomplish the trickery, I'll manage to get lamp to you somehow. Never fear. I have faith, Jello. You're a true friend. Oh, shucks. I would want anything for the princess. Okay. Head north to the third and final basement hallway. Good luck, Jolo! Don't let the guards get you! <laughs> yell, yell, yell! <laughs> this would be so awesome. <laughs> I think you have to wait until he's fully gone or something. Ah, oh, he's walking over. Ugh. Okay. Entering the door here would be suicide. However, the young ghost mentioned something about a man of steel. Okay. So, go to the man of steel. Um, try shaking it, its extended hand and enter the secret passage. Remembering what the little boy ghost said, Alexander experiments with his suit of armor. He pushes down and pulls up on the knight's right arm. Ooh, a secret passage. Cool. Okay, peer through the chink in the wall to eavesdrop on a conversation amongst the guards. Alexander hears the sound of voices coming from nearby. Alexander appears with a chink in the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peep show! Captain, I've been hearing rumors from, from the guards who have been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on the door and begging to be let out. I am none of her business, uh, but news like that is upsetting us dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. Mm. Al Hazard claims to be a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Come in all dark, they can't learn the tricks. But I say the princess should be the one giving orders. Al Hazard has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Casima's mourning. Tonight the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our leash. Did I remind you of your oath to the crown? Well, we for now, for the sake of the princess, we will not forgetting it. We just better treat her well. Speaking of the vizier, but Oyang Wakong is keeping in that magical room of his. It's not a magic room, it's just a door he's enchanted somehow. I say he still got a wild treasure in there, along with whatever he's so eager to protect. But even the court treasure was allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. He was speaking to the door. Black magic is what I say, ruff. I hear him say Ali, ruff, but then they came up and started yapping at me. Enough! It is not our place to question the practices of our leash, no matter how strange. The wedding will be starting soon. Report to the swan room when you hear the music start. Uh, he was speaking to the door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say Ali. But then they up not. What read it? Okay, go, go up the stairs. I came behind the stairs. <laughs> Yay! You did a good job there! Ooh, you have stairs at this game! <laughs> they hate me. You never you get along. You find another hole in the wall. Okay, another hole in the wall. Peek through the hole. Alexander appears, blah blah blah. Source of crying sounds. Alexander's palms begin to sweat and his heart to race. It's Kasima. He's found her. Princess Cosima! What? Who's there? It is I, Alexander. I'm here behind this wall. My how suave that sounds. Alexander? And why is she having a hole in her wall not noticing it? Hmm. It really is you! I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? It's a long story and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, she blushes. Oh yes, and it has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. He looks like a melon. <laughs> I don't care about the danger. I would brave. I would brave anything to learn. 
What is it? Azrid, do you want to wed him, Cosima? Of course. Oh, please believe me when I say that I never agreed to marry that man. Even when my father trusted Abdul, absolutely. I never liked him, but with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. If you do not wish to marry him, Cosima, you shall not, I promise you. Only come with me now and we shall escape. Yes, yeah, I climb through the hole. I pull you through the hole. <laughs> I can do this. How? I cannot fit through this wall. Besides, do you think I could leave my kingdom, my people, in Abdul's hands? Of course. But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair for me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, and I'm... am I not? I have been planning, too, you see. I believe I can escape if I only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon. There might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh! Just a moment more, and then you must... Go! Let us not waste this time with words. Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Aww. That's so cute. I stab you now. I have to give it a dagger, what? Uh, wait. Um, conversation or the dagger, yep. Yeah, too late. <laughs> Shoot. Yes, we have to do this. Okay, wait. You should have just given her the dagger. Brrr. Secret passage. Oh, we have to do that again? Yes. <laughs> ah, why did you save so... so seldomly? What? <laughs> why do you not read the guide? <laughs> I do read the guide, but I have to read those two people there. <laughs> what do you think I can do? Read in advance. Huh? Yeah, I always do. I see how you did this. Yeah, I was like, hey, it's not my fault, you did it. <laughs> Stop making a chicken out of me. I never do. You always do. It was a wombat voice. Oh yeah, of course. I make a wombat out of you now. Yeah. I have no idea how wombat sounds. <laughs> blah 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 This is a huge hole. Yep. Oh, that was fast. Blah, 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 blah. So, dagger. Step her. Here, take this dagger. It's not much, but it might come in handy. Why, it's perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. Alexander looks with longing at the fair Cosima. She's even more beautiful than he remembers. Well, no, she wears clothes and stuff, but not. Hasn't got greasy hair. <laughs> Step back from the wall. Head down the hallway on the left side of the screen. Oh no, someone's... Oh, sorry. Mm. Oh no, someone's coming. <laughs> the lock and casino store battles are properly. Alexander, hurry. Step away before they see you. Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief quiet on the other side of the wall. In silence. Hey, okay. I save. Thank you. <laughs> Again? Yes. <sighs> hallway, left side. I go, left side, hallway. Walk, move. Proceed down the first part of the hallway and round the corner at the end of it. Just beyond the bend is another spy hole. My gosh, a whole castle is full of spy holes. Alexander hears the sound of scratching coming from the other side of the wall. Look through to witness something. Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., etc. My long preparations are about to come to fruition. In a matter of minutes, I will wed the lovely Casima. <laughs> Did he really write haha <laughs> in there? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> in brackets. Ha, ha. 
Once I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another accident. Yeah, um, I usually write my letters and read them out. The princess is proven infuriatingly. What? Infuriatingly? I didn't even say it. What? Infuriatingly. Infuriate? As you know. Shut up. <laughs> She's becoming quite a danger, little thorn in my side. Oh, he does not even love her. In a way, That's... it's a shame I have to kill her. She is lovely, and it would be amusing to could be around. I can't risk her talking trash into one of her guards. So far, I managed to keep her locked away, but I can't continue that forever. Sorry, did not interrupt you. Well, on to it now. I will send you to you, but as you know, I had a luck in doing so with Mordak. A, a close and triumph King Abdul Al Haswad. Oh, he sent her to Mordek. What an asshole! Yep! I think it's about time to see if Shamir has taken care of the wench, as I asked. It's almost time for the wedding. <coughs> oh, I want to call my future wife wench too. That was a nice thing to say. The Vizier's words will accent with blazing angel in fear for Kasima's life. That blackguard, that murderous swine, he'll not have his way if I have anything to say about it. Okay, okay go to the hallway and peer to the next crack in the wall. Oh. At the end of the... No, you walk through the whole hallway and then there will be another crack somewhere. No. Continue down the secret passageway. Examine the crack at the end of the left wall. Ah! Ha 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 lots of black cloaks? Yep. <laughs> You're in his wardrobe. Ooh. This room has two important things in it. The first is tucked inside the ebony box on the table by the fireplace. Open the box and look inside to learn the second half of the password. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. Inside the bo ebony box is a piece of paper with the words Zebu printed on it. Isn't that a, an animal? Zebu? Zebu? Oh, no, an it's emu. An no, it's a Zebu. Zebu? Oh. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> um, the second item of interest is locked inside the chest at the foot of the bed. Use your skeleton key to open the trunk. Okay. And take the letter from the stack within. Alexander inserts a skeleton key in the trunk's lock and turns it. He hears a click. Alexander opens the trunk. Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed to Abdul Haswit from the wizard Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny in at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommend it, Mr. Girl, and you shall have your crown. That fiend. Okay, go back to the secret passage. Backtrack all along the passageway and go back down the stairs. Return to the West Sun basement hallway. There's uh, sirens outside my house. Sirens? Da -da -da -da. Ah, okay, I thought women with uh, mermaids. Oh. It would be so awesome. They usually are not outside of my house. Not? Oh. No. Uh, 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 what do I have to do? You have to go back to the western hallway. How do you get in here? Through the walls. I can't go through this wall. That's what it tells me here. I think you have to do something. You did something wrong. Ah, probably. here. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, go back to the western hallway. You know where the western hallway is, right? Oh, okay. I thought it was like a repeating of something and then 
Okay, yeah, I am. No, the western hallway. Go south and then west.